Okay, so this is actually just um, the first video I have posted in a couple months um, about uh, some of the projects I have ongoing. Um, I was pretty idle over the summer. I moved out and was working, um, well, where I worked uh, for the last last summer at the, uh, the Citadel here in Halifax. So <clears throat> I got to wear a kilt and shoot off cannons every day, which was pretty great. But the place I moved into had no adequate... Uh, workspace or even workshop, so there wasn't a whole lot I could do in terms of um, carving or crafting or anything like that. Uh, but I have moved home. Um, I'm actually in the kitchen right now. If you listen, you can hear my breakfast cooking behind me. Um, but moving home also means that I have uh, a decent access to uh, to tools and an actual workspace, um, and I'm not living in close proximity to a lot of people who who wouldn't actually want to hear. Um, power tools going off and that sort of thing. Excuse me. Shit. Okay, so um, I always had a, a, a another piece of briar wood or bar, blah, 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 briar block that had been left over from the first order I did uh, when I made the first pipe that the last four videos were about. Um, and I haven't really gotten going on it until now. And this is what I've gotten it down to. This is kind of uh, the outside of the wood looked a lot different than. Um, kind of the first cut that I had. It's this really beautiful um, kind of deep red. Now I did sand it off and I, I got this, uh, kind of a plainer, you know, paler wood. But if you uh, get it wet, you can start to see the grain come through. Anyway, um, I've cut this down a little bit. I bought a coping saw um, and a true testament to briar wood is that the coping saw broke within the first uh, four strokes I took, so I had to go get a new blade. Uh, but that blade was fixed it a little better on the on the saw, and it's worked pretty well. So I've chewed through a lot of this um, with that, and uh, I'm actually kind of getting to the point where I'm questioning how much more I want to do without buying some new tools. So um, the last, uh, if you remember from the, the last video, the last pipe I did, I made the uh, the the bowl, the actual uh, bore of it out of, or sorry, with a forstner bit. And a forstner bit is just kind of a perfectly round um, boring bit that you use to either make a, a perfectly cylindrical hole or just drill right through something, um, which was great, but, you know, that was one of the things that I kind of buggered up on the last one. I mean, the smoke holes or the bore is actually about this deep and perfectly circular, so there's no way, and I mean, completely flat on the bottom. Um, so putting tobacco in is, is a huge pain in the ass. Um, so there's something I really got to fix that, and what it's coming down to really is having to order um, the tapered, the round tapered bits from Pimo. Um, they sell... Uh, what do you call it, like drill bits, um, but they've been filed down by kind of a professional to make um, the rounded bottom so you can actually make the, the round bottom uh, bore into the into the wood. Uh, so that's that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Um, uh, for that, I'm probably going to try and order those order those up here uh, so I can get going on it, but I kind of want to do this one right, at least if I know, if I know what I did wrong the last time, I can do this right. Uh, but that's coming along well. The whole, the general shape of this, I'm hoping, is kind of going to be a, uh, you know, the bowl over here and, and the, you know, the bowl over here, and then the um, kind of the stumble curves up like this, so it can take uh, take a longer stem. So I'm hopefully going to have almost kind of a church warden um, esque uh, pipe. I'm going to have to leave soon to finish breakfast, but um, so that's that's how that's going. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. The next thing that I have on the go, and I'm hopefully going to make this a winter project um, and work on all winter, uh, is attempting, and I say attempting because I don't really know how easy it's going to be, um, but attempting to make uh, a sea chest, um, kind of like this one, or this one. Um, so, I mean, a lot of that is, I mean, well, from what I've talked to, from what I've talked to people and read about um, the act of actually dovetailing, because all of the old old sea chests from at least the 18th century were often dovetailed or at least pegged, um, and both of those I think are kind of a fine art, uh, especially dovetailing and joining. Uh, people spend their whole lives working on it. So I'm going to see how that goes. Um, I don't know a lot about it yet. I'm starting to do research uh, into them. Uh, hopefully, going to visit some or some originals and some museums if I can find any, just to kind of get an idea of how they were built and what I can do to to build it. Uh, but if any of you have anybody, anybody who's viewing this, um, can tell me anything about dovetailing or how to do it easily and maybe cheaply, uh, I'm all ears. So please, uh, by all means, maybe a video response so I could have my first video response or just even send me a message or a comment. Uh, anything like that works. Um, for the time being, though, 
uh, my breakfast breakfast awaits, and hopefully I'll be posting more regularly. Um, school's back up, and I don't know if it's going to be a terribly busy year, so there's things that I can I can spend some time talking to uh, talking to a little hole on the top of my laptop. Uh, anyway, for now. <laughs>